today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the NECA Toys, The Hateful Eight, Daisy Domerg, The Prisoner. Spot's continuing his looks at the Hateful Eight retro cloth figures. Figured we already had a look at the Hangman, we might as well look at the prisoner that the Hangman has with him, and that's Daisy. Package-wise, it's the same package as all the other Hateful Eight figures. Down below it says Ultra Panavision 70. Uh, looks like Daisy comes with her shackles. Doesn't look like she comes with anything else other than the shackles, but not bad. The back of the package. The eighth film from Quentin Tarantino, Hateful Eight. Jennifer Jason Lee as Daisy Domerk, the prisoner. And then finally, on the underside, you can head over to www.necaonline.com if you'd like to check out not only the Hateful Eight stuff, but some of the other retro cloth goodies that NECA Toys produces. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at Daisy Domerk, the prisoner from Hateful Eight. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Being a prisoner and all, Daisy, of course, comes with a pair of shackles. Uh, they are large enough as well that you can go ahead and take the figure, just her arms, and you can put the shackles over top of her, of her hands, just like that. Uh, or what you can also do too, as in the movie, take the shackles, and you can bring in, just off camera here, we can bring in John. You can attach the shackles hand to hand. Of course, letting her, unshackling her just so she, I think she can eat. There we go. Just attaches the, I mean, they, they don't sit very well, but then again, you know, the, the trade-off is that the figures just look so good. I'm okay that the shackles sit a little on the loose side. Let's go ahead and just move John out of the way. All right, so Daisy, played by Jennifer Jason Lee. I'm trying to think of other Jennifer Jason Lee movies that I've watched. I think she was in the original Hitcher, wasn't she? Of course, also in uh, Single White Female. I think most people remember her from Single White Female. She doesn't look as pretty, granted, as Daisy in The Hateful Eight. In fact, most of the time she spends the movie being beat up by John. Uh, it is very prominent, too, also in the face sculpt that NECA has given Daisy here. She's got a black eye, some blood on the side of her face. She's also wearing the fur hat, which can't be removed. It's, a, you know, it's affixed, it's attached to her head. Uh, she has a dress on, which actually gives, they give a little bit of lace uh, at the bottom there as well, which is a nice touch. It looks like there's a couple of different layers to the to the uh, to the dress as well. The jacket is not removable, although there is Velcro really on the back that if you want to take the entire jacket off, but there's really nothing underneath it there. She's utilizing, I'm trying to think of other female retro cloth figures, she might be utilizing the same body as Pamela Voorhees. Unfortunately, Spot doesn't have that figure yet, but uh, I think she does make use of the same body. Whereas the gentlemen all pretty much use the same male body build. The figure does look good though. I have to admit, the figure does look good. The, the, not the downside, but I guess if there was ever a downside to the figures like Hateful Eight, is that you may not necessarily pick up just one. I feel like if you're picking up Daisy, you're probably already picking up John or planning on picking up John. Because like really all Hateful Eight figures deserve to really be all present, all eight of them. I feel like this area here was a little bit darker in the movie, not as white. Um, she also has her, uh, her ankle high shoes. There you go. Posability on Daisy here. Uh, her head is on a ball joint. Lots more motion and movement than what John had. You can also see how she's using a different body build, a mold, as the neck is a different color from the rest of the face. But a lot of it is cover, covered by the the, cl the clothing that you're really not seeing it anyways. The shoulders hinge out. This one's a little stiffer, but it does hinge out. Arms rotate all the way around. Just be careful when you're rotating arms all the way around that the fabric doesn't start wrapping itself up. Of course, more restriction the fabric gets, that joint eventually may have resistance and may pop. She does have a bend in the elbow, a rotation in the wrist, slight hinge as well. She has an upper torso. What looks to be, I think it's all actually only just one joint 
that's on her waist rather than her torso. And the legs, while they do spread, they don't go forward and back all that much just because there's so much fabric in her dress. And finally, she has a hinge in the foot as well. Not a bad figure. Um, I wish she had come with like a, like a soup bowl or you know something along those lines. Maybe even if they'd given a table that they could have sat at, that would have been cool. But not bad figures. I really liked Hateful Eight. But uh, Jennifer Jason Lee did a great job in the movie, even though most of the movie she was getting beat up by John. Uh, today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the NECA toys, the Hateful Eight. We're looking today at Daisy Domerk, the Prisoner. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Hateful Eight videos heading your way, where actually, if you do your countdown, we got six more videos heading your way as we have a look at the other characters from Hateful Eight. Thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.